Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I will show you how you can create a modern tab form for your Power Apps. So let's take an example. So this is an app that is showing me the country sales report. Now, if I like to add a new entry, I can click on the add button and I'm gonna see a beautiful Power Apps form loaded into this screen. It has different sections that you can see. So on the first page, I can see all the product information Second screen, I can see the sales detail and if I have to attach any documents to it. Similarly, I can select any of these entry and the form will open up. I can see all the details. So if you like to create this modern form for your existing app or for your new app, stay tuned. I will show you how you can create a form like this. <music> Welcome back and thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. The first thing that we're going to do if we like to create a modern form like this, you need to log into our Power Apps. You can either start working on your existing app or you can create a new app with this form. I'm going to use one of my existing app. Okay, so I have this app that I actually created in my last video. So if you like to see so how I created this nested tab app. Please go ahead and check out the video. Link will be in this description. Okay. So we're going to start from this app. Of course, you can start from your own app that you have, or you can create a new app. And then you can use the steps that I'm going to show you to create the modern tab form. Okay. So you can start from this screen and add the form, or what you can do, that's, that's what I'm going to show you. Add a new screen. Okay. There are available templates that you can use. And what we're going to use, we're going to use the template called headers and form preview. Okay, so I'm going to add this screen. What this screen is going to do, it's going to add all these different containers that we need to this screen. And we can select our data source, so in my case, the country sales report. So the form with necessary formatting and responsive component, Power Apps will create for you. So you don't need to create it by manually. Okay, so this will save a lot of time. Now let's make a couple of changes into this form that we have just added. Okay, now select the form component from the lab tree. Okay, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it two column vertical. Okay, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna select this main container, copy. Okay, we will go to our main screen and we're gonna say control V or paste it. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna actually move that entire container that we have in our new screen and it's going to add it to our main screen and then you will select it and move to the top right corner okay this much you need to do to make the form available on this screen and then some more settings that we need to change so justify we need to make it right align because that's what we need to do and then i'm going to increase the height of course height we can set accordingly i'm going to just set it so that it will for within the reach of this screen, okay? And also the height and width of the form, okay? And then we're gonna go to the main container, go to the color here, and then we're gonna make it a white background so that we can see the form, right? And on the drop shadow, we're gonna use the bold. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna give you that shadow effect so you can see the form as a pop-up, okay? So this setting is done. Now you can see your form now we need to make some changes to the form itself okay so we're going to select the form container okay and we are going to add the tab because we want to create different sections or tab for this form okay so we're going to click that and remember one thing we are using the modern ui so if you have not done that change or if you don't see the modern control go to settings okay go to settings click on updates and make sure that you have modern controls and themes turn on if you do that then you will start seeing all these modern control okay so coming back here we are going to add a tab so select that you will have a tab list select that and then tab will be added going back to our tree view and what we need this tab list to be it should be the first thing in the form so i'm going to reorder and move to the top okay 
So now we can see our tab on the top. We also need to make the alignment. So we're going to make it full width. So it will take the entire width of the container. Now you need to categorize how you want to, how you want your form to be divided. You can decide two sections, three sections, four sections, or depending on your requirements and number of fields. In my case, I'm going to break into three. Okay, so I have product information, sales detail, and documents. Okay, that's it. Now the next thing what we're going to do, we're going to go to the form, and we need to divide the different fields that we have into these different sections. So when user click on a particular section, only those fields should be displayed or visible. Okay. Now doing that visible true and false is very simple. You need to open the form tree, right? And you will see all the different fields that you have. So what you want, uh, when, when you click on the product information, I want title, country, product, product group, product owner, and segment should be displayed. Okay. So I'm going to press control in my keyboard and click on title and then select the fields that you want to be on your first section. Okay. And then what we're going to do once we select all the fields, click on the visible property and we're going to write a small logic here. So we are going to say if tab list three, that's the name of the tab that we have added here, dot selected dot value is equals to product information then true else false okay so what this is going to do is going to only show these fields when the product information value is true similarly you can decide the other sections so for example i'm going to select the other fields that i want on the second section okay so i'm going to select those fields of course going to my visible property and this time instead of product information i'm going to say sales detail okay so this is good now i'm gonna go to the form again and i think i'm missing the attachment so i'm gonna add that because i also want the document so i added the attachment field and now only thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the attachment go to the visible and i want the attachment field to show up when user click on the documents okay so now if i run this if I click on these different fields, you can see, right? So half of the form is working. Of course, we're going to make sure that form is functional. That is not yet. It's a new form only. So cancel that. We're going to go back to the form control. We're going to change this to two column. Okay, now we're going to make some changes to the form itself, right? So the default mode, what should be the default mode? So if I go to the default mode, it's currently setting up to the new, but I want that to be when user click on the add button that we have not added yet but when the user is going to click on the new it should be the new when i'm selecting any of this item or selecting the update it should be on the edit mode okay so now we need to add a couple of new button so that we can add those new and update option so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to the screen that we have added okay i'm going to just reuse everything that we can and in this screen you can always see this container here it's saying button container what i'm going to do i'm going to copy that go back to our main screen okay and then we need to add this under our main container right select that and i'm going to paste okay the button container is added now we're going to make a couple of changes to it so that it will be aligned so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to justify on the left line so button will start showing up on the left okay okay so this part is done now this instead of submit this is my add and the cancel is my update okay and I, you can also definitely change the color and everything as needed okay and i'm going to make both of them as a primary so they both have same color okay so this is my add this is my update we may need to make some changes to our container because now we need to make the height a little bit more so it will align so that's the only change that we need to do so we have our form, we have add and update button. Now let's start working on the add button, what we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do, we don't need any of this because we copy pasted, right? So what we need to do, we need to first the reset the form. So when I'm clicking on the new, I want to reset the form. Our form is form one underscore one. Remember that. 
you can see the form name here then after that we're going to set a variable variable form mode okay this variable will help us to decide whether the form is opening as a new form or an edit form okay so i click on add that means i'm clicking a new or creating a new item so i'm going to set this variable to the form mode new and then i'm going to set another variable variable show form equal to true now what why I am setting this variable because we are going to use this variable to show hide this form only when either I click on the add or update because we don't want this form to be display all the time when you are working on your table or the data okay so this part is done similarly if I go to the update let's copy this go to the update and we are going to on select same thing we did for add button on select we are going to very much same thing instead of new at this time we're going to say add it because now we are editing the form okay so add and update is done now we will select our form okay and then the default mode instead of form mode dot new we are going to say variable form mode okay now i'm going to play the app click on add and you can see now my add button is on display and if I click on update, nothing is happening and I will show you why. Okay. So let's cancel the app now. We're going to go back to the form. Okay. And on the form, we have a property called item. Okay. It will be empty. So what we're going to set it to, we're going to select our table. So table is nothing but the data source that I'm using in this app. So as you can see, a table 2 is my data source. If you are using gallery, then it will be your gallery data source. Okay. So in my case, I have table two dot selected. Okay. Now if I run the app and I select one item and click update, you can see, right? So whichever item I'm selecting, the form is showing that item for me to add it. Okay. Now a few more changes from the display point of view. I'm going to select each field and make the width fit true for all of the field okay so the form is ready to go now we also need to work on these two button on cancel it's going to reset the form but one thing that we want once i cancel i want to hide this form so you're going to put semicolon you remember we created this variable called variable show form so you're going to set it to false similarly once we done submitting the form i want to hide the form okay so set that variable true here as well or false here as well now one thing that you need to make sure we need to make sure that visible property of this entire container is set to variable show show form okay so now if i play the app as you can see i don't see anything if i select any of the item and click update i can see the form here i can see all the detail if i make changes here and you can see right so the update has been done similarly if i click on add button okay i can add a new item here one thing you can also do on click of any of those item if you like to display the form you can also do that as well so if you like to do that similarly it's applied to gallery and table control uh, but if you go to your table or the data container that you're using to show the data gallery or table select that go to the property called on select and what we need to do here we need to do the same thing what we are doing on the update resetting the form setting up the form mode to edit and setting the variables show form to true okay now i'm going to click on any of these item i can see the form showed up yeah so this is pretty much for this video you can definitely create this experience on any of your existing app new app define your sections define your form layout you can have this form on the same screen like I showed you or you can create a new screen and take the user to the new screen if you want to. Okay. Once done, the second screen or the extra screen that we have added, we don't need it. So you can definitely delete it. You don't want it. And now your app is good to go. You can save and publish. Okay. Yeah. So you just now learned how to create a multi-tabbed modern form in your existing or new power app. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Hope this will help you. Thank you.